Dr. Swarjla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Center. Let's look at the importance of AMH levels when we are trying to assess fertility. So what exactly are AMH levels? AMH or anti-mullerian hormone is a laboratory test that obstetrician fertility doctors may use to assess a woman's reserve or egg count. This hormone is produced by small follicles in a woman's ovaries and AMH is used as a marker of oocyte quality. Uh, AMH or anti-mullerian hormone as I said is basically produced by cells around the eggs which are called as granulosa cells. These cells are of very small size, they are also called as primordial follicles as in inside the ovary are follicles inside the follicles are eggs and they come in various stages the youngest ones the smallest ones which are not even growing which cannot be seen which are microscopic are called as primordial follicles and at this stage they are not even seen by ultrasound these can also produce amh production is highest in the next stages of development now as the production decreases it stops when the follicle grows almost no amh is made in follicles over 8 mm therefore the levels are fairly consistent and amh testing can be done on any day of a woman's cycle so what does it indicate in terms of your fertility well amh is an important fertility test that tells us about a woman's ovarian reserve as it stands on that particular day so if you get it done on day 2 or day 10 of your cycle it means it is your egg reserve for that day and it's fairly consistent throughout the month and it's particular for your age. Higher AMH values greater than for example 1 uh, nanograms per ml because it is measured in nanograms per ml depending on the laboratory that you are giving the values to. High AMH values which is anything above 1 is usually signifying that it is a normal ovarian reserve. Lower numbers especially those below 1 nanogram per ml may indicate a woman with diminished ovarian reserve also called as poor uh, ovarian insufficiency. Now we know that a woman's fertility declines as she ages so typically when we see a AMH value at an advanced stage we also uh, expect the ovarian reserve to decline with an advanced stage. The value of this uh, test is that a woman with low AMH can choose to do something about her fertility at that particular time or if she desires a family in the future. How can AMH help you in diagnosing infertility? Well, reading the levels of an AMH blood test, fertility doctor can determine the size of the remaining egg supply that is ovarian reserve. With increasing female age, the size of their pool of these microscopic follicles that we were talking about decreases. Therefore, blood levels also and the number of ovarian follicles also that are visible on ultrasound also decrease. Women with many small follicles that can be seen on ultrasound, especially PCOS, polycystic ovarian uh, syndrome uh, women, have high AMH hormone values. Now, women that have few remaining follicles and those that are close to menopause have low and AMH values. This is the significance of AMH. So what does AMH measure? AMH is a great tool to assess a woman's current ovarian reserve. It gives an overall picture of what the ovaries look like today. Especially it can help with setting realistic expectations on the number of eggs that may be retrieved or it can also uh, indicate how you'll respond to medication and should you or should you not decide to go for IVF as a treatment option and is egg freezing any good at all. That is also one of the options for women with poor ovarian reserve or low AMH values. What AMH is not that it is not a predictor of whether a woman can get pregnant spontaneously in the future or not. So the only true test, the true test of whether you are able to conceive or not is the test of pregnancy. Whether you get pregnant or not is the only true test. Now just because you have a normal AMH levels, it does not predict that it will stay normal in the future. All women will have a decline in fertility as they age and how rapidly that fertility occurs is different for every woman and it cannot be predicted. Should you get an AMH test? Well, I am very keen that women should be educated about their fertility options, should be you know, aware of their fertility potential and therefore when you get to know about these things, it empowers you to make decisions regarding your own health. So what I am going to tell you is that knowing about your ovarian reserve gives you more power about taking a decision about your fertility options. So what you want to do may also depend on your AMH values. They can then help you determine whether you want to do something now or you want to do something later. AMH value can give you the value of your ovarian reserve at that particular time. It cannot predict how quickly your ovarian reserve will decline in future 
or whether you will be able to get pregnant simultaneously on your own so remember it is an indication of your fertility potential for the current position in your life now what is a normal amh level well according to laboratories it differs but a lot of uh, fertility studies have been done and uh, i am talking about fertility um, studies that have revealed these values talking about interpretation that have come from fertility tests so amh blood levels when very high often as uh, indicator of pcos is over 3 nanogram per ml when it is normal amh levels it is over 1 nanogram per ml when it is low normal amh levels it is indicated to be 0.7 to 0.9 nanograms per ml a very low amh level could be less than 0.3 nanograms per ml so it's very important that your fertility specialist see these values based on these based on the ultrasonography evaluation that they do they take a decision on what treatment options work best for you so it's not important that you look at these values and panic it does not say that you won't get pregnant please remember that it is just talking about your ovarian reserve not your potential to get pregnant therefore always consult a fertility specialist before you take a decision about what you should do with your pregnancy options if you want to understand more please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you